So I'm gonna start off by using Superdrug's Micellar Face Wipes. I always use this before I clean my face, just to get rid of any remnants of dirt that might be on it from the air or from me touching my face. Despite the fact I didn't wear any makeup, you'll see when I show you the wipes that usually areas like around your nose and on your cheeks get really dirty. So today I'm going to be using the Vanity Planet Ultimate Skin Spa System. My secret weapon used to be their Spin for Perfect Skin, but they sent me the upgrade. So this comes with a soft, normal cleansing brush with a silicone head and also an exfoliating brush head. Now I always use the exfoliating brush head just because it's just a bit rougher than the normal cleansing brush. And I feel like it gets my skin really, really clean because it gets, you know, deep in there. I'm then going to run the tap till it's warm and then wet my brush head. I'm going to take my Shea Moisture African Black Soap, which is my favourite black soap, and I'm going to rub the bar of soap all over the brush head to get it filled with product. I'm then going to use that same warm water and wet my face just to open up my pores and to just, you know, get it ready to be cleaned. I'm then going to take my cleansing brush and press the button once and that activates the first speed setting and I'm just going to go in circular motions and really clean and cleanse my face with the black soap and the brush. Here I'm just concentrating the exfoliator head on places where I have dark marks. I spend a little bit of more time there just so that when I put on my cocoa butter and my shea butter it really penetrates easier and it can get rid of any dead skin that is over any scars that I have. So I've gone ahead and washed that off with cool water and I'm going to take a normal towel and just dab my face to get rid of the water on my face. I don't pull, I don't rub, I'm quite gentle with my skin on my face but with my body I'm just doing any antics. So I'm going to take the best cocoa butter in the world, the Palmer's Cocoa Butter and I'm going to take half a pump of that in the palm of my hand. This cocoa butter is just amazing because it's the only moisturiser that was able to get rid of my hyperpigmentation and my hypopigmentation as well um, it's not greasy it's water based so the first ingredient is water so it actually moisturizes your skin instead of just sitting on top and it has vitamin E in it which is really good for dark marks I'm then gonna use another holy grail God sent to earth product sheer butter this one is from sheer life i usually get my sheer butter from ghana but any organic sheer butter will work i get a little bit on in the palm of my hand and i just work it till it melts the reason why i put this on top of my moisturizer is because anything with moisture has a tendency to want to evaporate or to not really want to stay on your skin especially while you're sleeping but when you use oil on top of that it seals in that moisture it's the same thing that you're meant to do with your hair when you use a water-based moisturizer you should then put an oil on top of it to seal in that moisture so that's all i'm doing with the shea butter and shea butter has a whole heap of benefits and that my lovelies is all i do to my skin i only use three staple products so yeah i'll see you guys later